road cycling and gravel grinding and mountain biking too. This is the P-Town Week, the Week in Review. Road cycling and gravel grinding and mountain biking too. This is the P-Town Weekend, the Week in Review. Hello, P-Town Weekend Reviewers. Today is very special because Gary and Stein are on their way up to join me for a ride in Worcester, Mass. Kind of an unusual event. It's only Thursday, not even a weekend, but I just got home from work and I'm waiting for them to show up. Uh, they probably got stuck in Connecticut traffic, so I'm expecting them here in about 40 minutes or so. But when they get here, we're going to do a 20-mile loop and explore two of my favorite places to ride, Rayburn Street and Singletary, or East and West Millbury. And um, hopefully we'll get some good video on the trail. They made it! Stein's crack powder. Okay, you fellas ready for a ride? Yeah. Stein, I didn't hear you. Are you ready? Yes. Stein, you don't sound enthusiastic enough. Do you want me to try to kick it with my foot while we're riding? Maybe I could hit just the right spot? No? Okay. We're going to make a left up here. We headed out on a quick cruise down the road and before you know it we hopped in onto a trail right off the road. Tried to make it up one trail that was a little flooded, but it made for a good adventure section. Oh, oh no. It is ankle, no, knee, calf deep. I've been getting a lot of rain. Okay, lesson learned. That is not a good way to go. Stein, did you save your shoes? Are you dry? Okay. Are they wrinkled? Are you gonna take them off? So after the little swim, we made it to East Millberry Trails. And man, these guys were tight, nice, and windy.
and then after coming out to a power line um, Rich stopped us and said let's not stop here I wanted to take a break out further down the power line a uh, little curious to why at the time he said it was because of the bugs but then we found out he had another surprise Look, look, look what I found. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boom sauce for you. <laughs> the trail gnomes are good to us. <laughs> Still icy. Oh, man. Epic. Stein, I have you a blood orange wheat. That's why I wanted to go to the power line. <laughs> so after some quick brewskis, we had a section that resembled P-Town for sure. Uh, that linked us up to a road, which we took over to West Millberry Trails. By the time we hit the second set of trails, getting to be that time of year, the sun was already down behind the trees and we had to turn on the old lights to finish off the ride. These trails as well, built by the same people, were also tight and twisty. So it's funny, there was one other guy in there with us and we'd see his light once in a while come by, but yet we never crossed paths with them officially. And then the last stretch of the ride was on a a uh, rail trail, which is kind of like a bike highway, uh, which is pretty neat. Went right through and took us right to Worcester, not far from Rich's house. And afterwards we relaxed and unwound, had a wonderful dinner, and enjoyed some beverages at Rich's place. Packing up, heading home. Mm. <laughs> Short-lived trip, but a fun one. I'll get back to P-Town for Friday night birthday party. <laughs> Bikes all dirty. Swamp adventures. Swamp. Left tip dirt residue on Stein's car.
and lots of it. <laughs> so before officially going home, stopped at a Jagundo beer store up there and picked up some supplies for the birthday party. So next up after Friday's birthday party was a trip on Sunday up to Lake Wall and Paw Pack for the Redneck Roubaix, which is a uh, gravel road ride up in that area. It's about 50 miles and uh, close to 4,000 feet of climbing this year. Um, it looked like it was going to have a good turnout, so we headed up. We had myself, Leah, Stein, and Ken in one car load going up, and we met Kyle and Megan and Kevin and a few other uh, locals from here and from up there uh, that we know uh, on the ride. It was a good time, very great setup, um, very organized. Everything was great and went smooth. So here's some clips from that. So the ride started at Grushham's Chop House right in Holly. Uh, we had a stretch of pavement to get out there and then we hit one of the first dirt roads which was Greentown Road which is seen here and this was a, about a six mile stretch of gravel in which we rode twice, once out and then once back. And the first part of the road everybody was being nice and friendly. Uh, but then the pace started elevating, getting picked up a little bit by Kevin. And then Kyle joined on. And then, of course, I had to join on as well. And then uh, eventually turned into an all-out sprint for the last section of this road. And pretty much kept that way for the rest of the ride. It's on. The ride was great even though the pace stayed high up front. Um, every so often when a big intersection came there was a, a nice stop. Everybody uh, waited for everybody and regathered. They had a support vehicle that followed behind the whole time to make sure nobody got left behind at all. Uh, this is one of the big stops at Dollar General so you could get extra supplies if you needed them. And Papa Stein needed a new pair of shoes. I want these. A good turnout, a lot of other faces you probably recognize. Uh, Lena is there, Ronnie, Little Lee, Jake was there, and then uh, a lot of the crew from up in the Lackawanna area uh, that you may be familiar, familiar with as well. And there's Rob himself who hosted the event. We need Leah, do you need a beverage? What kind of beverage do you need, Leah? A brisket. Go. Where am I? I'm in Delaware. I saw signs for Delaware everywhere. <laughs> Delaware State Forest. 
How do you feel doing your first long ride, 50 miles? I feel okay. Longest ride of your life? I feel terrible because everybody like sprinted the whole flipping thing. Sorry. Yeah, those people are assholes. Lee, is that your longest ride ever? Yeah. Job. I'll, I'll take it. It wasn't a slow paced group ride. I think I did it in under five hours. Yes, you did. That to me I think my phone's is okay. all that mattered. Did you try to find in there? So, Ken. Yeah, Chris. How was your first uh, redneck rape? Re re I'll tell you what. I won't miss it. I said in future years, like if it happens to fall on a weekend where I'd have my kids, I'd make an adjustment and take them like Friday, Saturday, so I could have Sunday open to do this ride. It was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of road, but it was, you could ride as hard as you want to, and the last person doesn't get left behind. Awesome. Yeah. That was me. So how do you feel, Leah? I was the last person, and I didn't get left behind. Yeah. <laughs> Afterwards, drove right down the road to the Wall Potback Brewing Company to have a couple of drinks and then made our way back home and we had some Uncle Bucks for our double recovery food. So Redneck Rebay, if you weren't there this year, put it on your list for next year. Uh, great event, again, great organization. Everything went smooth. No writers got dropped, uh, and everybody was pretty happy. Uh, that's it for this week. There was two other rides, but don't have any video from them. Um, so that's it. Have a good week. We'll see you next time. This is the P-Town Weekend, the Weekend Review.